This is going to be just a brief run through of what's in the box and how to actually connect everything and get it all hooked up. Um, we're going to start with basically just getting everything out of the box here. Um, you'll have your actual user manual in the box. Hopefully you won't need this, but it's in there if you do. This will be the receiver that gets hooked up to the DVR. This is your actual camera right here that you'll mount in the rooms. And this is the only thing left in the box. This is basically just a box of accessories to get it all working together. You'll have <clears throat> two of these 12 volt uh, 500 milliamp power supplies. They're the exact same thing. One just goes with each, one for the receiver, one for the camera. You're going to have two antennas. Again, they're the exact same, one with the receiver, one for the camera. This is your three axis bracket that will simply thread in to the back of the camera right here. And this is basically your audio visual cable that's going to plug into the back of the receiver and then connect to your DVR. When it comes to connecting to the antennas to either the camera or the receiver in this case, let's pull this little yellow cap off, it's just protecting the threads. It's going to thread on like anything else. Just turn it clockwise and angle the antenna however you need to. And they'll sit on just like that. All right, you'll have a couple buttons on here. You'll have the talk button that we talked about for basically using the two-way audio feature. Um, just look at the manual. It'll basically give you very simple instructions how to do all that. For the cable, it can get to DVR. This black connector here is going to plug right in to where it says AV out right next to the antenna on the back of the receiver. From there it can pretty much just sit on top of the DVR if you want and we'll just plug into the back of the DVR using this yellow connector. You don't need the white one. You won't need that for anything. You can completely ignore this right here. To plug it into the back of the DVR you're going to have to use these little adapters here. I've already connected three of these to your DVR. You'll see them on channels 1, 2, and 3 for your cameras. Just like any other cable basically for your TV or VCR or Blu-ray player, whatever it may be, if you're still using cables like this, it's just going to push in and friction is just going to hold it in place. And it's as simple as connecting, or as simple a connection as that basically. Um, if you look over here just in the DVR, this is not the same DVR that you have, but it does have the same connectors. Um, on yours, this is simply just going to be right on here like that. And then you'll just plug this receiver in just like this. Very simple. You'll see these on the back of your DVR. Um, there is an extra fourth one in the box if you need it for any reason if you decide to add another camera later. Um, there's an extra one in there though, just so you know. Uh, that's basically it as far as setting up and connecting to the DVR and the cameras. Um, these receivers and cameras as they come out of the box are going to be automatically paired with each other. Uh, I've already tested your DVR with all three of your cameras connected today at our office from all points of the building. Um, they're working just fine. Um, as I said, they are basically paired automatically as they come out of the box. Um, to make sure that you don't mix them up, if it actually matters, which it probably won't, but if they do get mixed up and you lose track of which one's paired with which, I've actually placed stickers on the bottom of the receiver right here, and then on each camera in the back of the sun shield right here. It's just simply labeled 1, 2, and 3 for each set. So if you ever do need to know which one's matched with which, you'll know just based on those matching numbers. If at any point in time you discover that your camera and receiver are no longer pairing together properly, you simply need to go into the menu on the receiver here when it's plugged into your DVR, bring up the menu on the screen, 
and there is a pairing option in the menu you need to go to. It's then going to tell you to basically press the pair button on the camera to repair the two devices. That pair button is right here. You'll need uh, basically a pen or a toothpick, or something along those lines, basically to press that when you need to. Um, it is recessed on in this hole here, so you can't press it by accident. Um, I do not recommend using anything metal. Um, you risk shorting everything out. Um, your microphone is right here, labeled mic. This is the speaker on the bottom of the camera here, so when you actually do press this talk button and hold it down, talk right into the box, basically and um, it'll come through on the speaker. Um, there is a small on-off switch in the back of these receivers I forgot to mention. Uh, it's just a very small switch right here. Just make sure it's turned on, obviously, to get your video. Um, you'll know it's on and powered. You can't really see it here, but it does say power here. When it is lit up, it'll be blue. A blue LED will turn on and you'll see the word power. Um, should you choose to use these cameras for any reason without the DVR, and you do not need live viewing at the time, these will also work off of an SD card. You have that option to place an SD card in here up to about 32 gigabytes, I believe, and you can record just like that. The last thing in the box is the actual screws and anchors for the actual mount itself. Um, there are three of them. Um, I would suggest using all three of them to hold this camera as firmly as possible or as securely as possible. And those are very self-explanatory again. Just screw those through these three openings right here. This is your bracket. As you can see, you'll basically be able to manipulate this however you need to. Um, you had been talking about needing it to basically be mounted at a full 90 degrees. So if it's up against the wall, as such, out there in the back of the camera, it's very easy. We'll thread into the back of the camera just like this. Just be careful. You don't want to actually strip anything. Um, the cameras are made of aluminum. It is heavier aluminum, but they are aluminum to basically avoid rusting. Um, this is basically how you're going to mount it. Um, as you can see, it is at 90 degrees now, with room to spare. Um, whether it's getting to face left or right, um, this will basically go to any angle you really need it to, um, as you can see here. Um, to lock it in place, just turn these knobs to the right to tighten it down, and uh, that'll hold it in place. If you like this video, please be sure to like this video on YouTube, subscribe to our YouTube video channel, and also like us on Facebook. Thank you for watching.